screencast three figured bearings number one this is easy really easy the next one number two is a little bit more difficult but these are the building blocks we'll need to do really really well so very simply what are three figured bearings so we're thinking of a compass which we can see on the right here and we're thinking about the direction that we go in and how we would describe that direction so that people don't go in the wrong direction pretty much so uh, the characteristics of bearings a the basis of bearing is that we start at the north direction uh, is always measured clockwise that's very very important so it's always measured in this direction and it's written as a three digit angle that's also really important like okay? hence the three figured bearings part to it so really really simply here's an example here we've got north that way that's always our starting point and when we go to number two we'll give you some more tricky questions but very very simply we start at north and we might go somewhere and that might be to a okay so very simply we would draw out an angle from north to a and we would always measure that angle from this direction here okay let's give another example of this by the way this is going to be a really really fast screencast it's going to be really fast so normally i'd give you both on the same day but anyway here goes another example We've got north in that direction still north is always straight up um, and this time we're going to go towards a in this direction so some people make the mistake of going and measuring the angle this way remember we always measure clockwise so it's going to go all the way around here and we would measure there right so let's go over some questions with some protractors now you can actually buy these protractors that look like this let me just click one up here so you can actually buy these um, and they're really useful because we can see north east south west um, but the key bit here is what is what is our three figured bearing well our three figured bearing we'd start at zero and we're going to go all the way around here we're going past 100 past 120 so forth and so on and we get all the way to 270 right so our answer for this would be 270 degrees okay so the bearing from north to a is 270 degrees and that's really really important okay all right so let's do this one now i'm not going to tell you what it is i'd like you to tell me what the three figured bearing would be hopefully you've worked that out remember it's three figures so it's not going to be 40 because that would be two figures it's going to be zero four zero degrees and that would be the answer for that one and it really is that simple we are already at the quiz so here goes our questions all you need to do is tell me the answers for all of these what are the three figured bearings for each of these pause the video come back in a minute and see if you've got it correct okay here we go here goes the answers hopefully you found these easy peasy lemon squeezy for so for the first one we had 310 degrees for the next one we had point uh, sorry zero six five degrees uh, for the next one 180 degrees and for the last one 120 degrees so it really was nice and easy i'm sure if any of you have got any problems you might need to go back and watch that starting bit but i'm sure you don't because you're all absolutely amazing and as always it's been an absolute pleasure helping with your maths today hopefully you've enjoyed it Thank <laughs> you.